Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and people around the world. Welcome back to another episode of the Fashion Showcase. So, today we're going to have a little chat about the Saturn 6 armor set and Sayandana. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty and the fashion, and the fashion, how do you get this armor and Sayandana? Well, oops. well, you have to be rank 30 in the current night wave, the Wolf of Saturn 6. So if you're not rank 30 it's and you do like the armor, again, dreamers. and Sandana, as you can see, the Sandana is a reward for rank 28, and the armor set is a reward for rank 30. Do note you only have two days before this this season of night wave is gone so if you're near rank 30 and you want the armor and sandana jump on that grind now but anyway today we're gonna have a little discussion about this armor set and the sandana what war frames it looks good with what skins it looks with looks good with to help you decide whether you want to grind for it or not so first up, we have Atlas. Now, on the base skin of Atlas, the Saturn 6 armor set and Sayadana doesn't really look that great. However, what I have noticed with the Saturn 6 armor set and Sayadana is that it very much favors the Grex skins. So Harrow, Ember, Atlas, Chroma, Saren, all that, all those Warframes, their Gret skins will look very nice with the Saturn 6 armor. As you can see, here with the Atlas Grex, do know that not all of these Warframes have customization for the Saturn 6 armor set. But as you can see, one thing I've also noticed with this, with this armor set is that it very much it very much, uh, it very much favors the bulky Warframe. So as you can see here with Atlas, who originally had no neck, has no neck. As you can see, the armors, the arm pieces sit very nicely on his shoulders, providing that even bit more bulk. A nice little touch to the legs with the leg plates as well as the chest piece making his chest even beefier the Sandana looks a bit weird on his back but personally I kinda like it it's not too in your face and it's a nice subtle touch for the next Warframe we have Mr. Rhino Now Rhino actually does have a customization for the Saturn 6 armor. This is kind of like my Wolf of Saturn 6 cos cosplay. I know the shade of colors are a bit off. But I tried to nail it as best as I could. So as you can see, any Warframe or Grat skin with a Grenier aesthetic very much favors the Saturn 6 armor. Rhino having the Grenier aesthetic with all the marks on him very much blends into the Saturn 6 with all of its marks here. On the chest, on the arms, all these cream patterns fit very nicely with Rhino's patterning. Just so you know, the colors I'm using this is dark brown in the Tenno palette. Usually the color, nope, up there, down here. This brown down here from the Tenno palette. We are using this kind of off black from the smoke palette. It's not quite a gray, it's not quite black. It's a nice borderline between the two. 
for the tertiary to get the color that matches the Saturn VI armor. We are using this creamy color from the Xmas palette. It's the third row from the bottom. It's the closest thing I could actually find to that kind of color. I, I found if I went too dark, you could really see the difference between the two. And personally, I didn't like the difference. The accents, we have my bronzy gold. That's up here in the Tenor palette. Looking nice. The energy color, by all means, up to you. The helmet we are using to get the Wolf of Saturn 6 feel, feeling is the Warlust. Now the Warlust is actually a Tenor Gen item, so you will have to buy this for Platinum. Or with money if you're on PC. Next Warframe, we have... Sorry, just checking my notes here. Mr. Chroma in his crack skin. Go to the C customization. Now, I was surprised on how well the Saturn 6 armor and Sandana looked on Chroma Grex. I was expecting it to look very, very, very odd. But surprisingly, it fits in Chroma Grex very, very well. Like the chest piece, the chest piece fits in perfectly with the shoulder plates and kind of adds a nice little bulk to the chest. But not so much so that it will take away from anything. The shoulders are nice, they sit perfectly on Chroma Grex's shoulders. Again, adding that nice little bulk. Now as we all know, this little curvature of the Chroma Warframe is a bit strange to customize, but the Saturn 6 leg plates actually fit very well. Because it has a natural curvature, kind of curves up and lifts up, so it very much mirrors Chroma Grax's knee plates. Personally, I very like, I very much like, excuse me, the Saturn 6 armor on the Chroma Grax. And definitely, we'll try to put a customization out for it. And the Sandana nestles very comfortably between the wings. The wing plates right here. All in all, I really like it on Chroma Grex. And the next Warframe we have on our little showcase. Again, apologies that I don't have many com customizations for this. My little brother's been off ill and trying to get work done. When your little brother's home, my god, it's nigh impossible. So, the Saturn 6 armor doesn't really work on Ember's skins very well. You see here we have the Immortal, the Ignition, the Basic Ember. Majesty and Prime, but I found it works very well with Ember Grex. As I said before, the Saturn 6 armor and Sandana very much favors either A, the bulky frames, i.e. Frost, Rhino, Chroma, or Atlas, or it very much complements Grex skins. As you know, Atlas, Ember, Harrow, all that good stuff. And it just adds so much to the Grax skins. As you see here, I'm broken platinum, otherwise I would have got it. <laughs> but putting together a good customization for it, matching up the colours with the Saturn 6 armor plate, armor pieces, would look very, very nice. On Ember Grex. For the next showcase, and this is a Warframe that actually does have customization for the Saturn 6 armor, is Hildren. Now, Hildren, at least on PlayStation 4, is our newest Warframe with Profit Taker. And look at that. The Saturn 6 armor 
set looks amazing on Hildren. I am using the Azeron helmet. Personally, I don't quite like the basic helmet of Hildren. While it doesn't look bad, I get a very strong Power Ranger-esque vibe with this helmet. So personally, I like the Azeron. The colors we are using for Hildren. Right. We're not going to use the PlayStation palette because not everyone's going to have that. If we jump down to the smoke palette, we are using this darkest black right at the bottom here. In the smoke palette. It is the darkest black I could find. Without using exclusive color palettes. Next color we have, we have our bronzy gold color. It very much matches the Saturn 6 armor plating. It's the closest color I could actually find. I found if I went too dark. So if we go for this darker brown here. It didn't quite match it as well. It still matches it. But personally, I like a little bit brighter. For the tertiary colour, we are here in a shamrock palette. Third row down, second column. We have a nice little cream, creamy white. And this colour governs her chest, her sides, a few details on the neck, arms and legs. Adding a nice little bright touches. Again, fitting in with the theme of the Saturn 6 armor set. Hildren's looking good. For the accents, you can use any kind of color you want. Maybe you don't like the bronzy gold. You could go for like a pewter, a silver, or even a gold. The metallic color, very much up to you. However, I would try to stay with, within the theme. If you're going to try and do this customization, I would try to stay within the theme. So I try to stay for like bronzes, maybe pewter, and maybe like a pale gold. And the good thing about the Tenno palette is that you can get very... You can get these kind of colors. Like there's a couple of pale golds here. you got a light pale gold here. Coming down here, you can get a nice gold. You get the different greys and the whites to make silver. The different browns to make bronze. It has a colour for all your needs. And again, out of the Warframes that I have done customizations for, for this episode, Hildren is my second favourite. Who is number one? Well, that would be my Lady of the Hour, Saren Prime. Or, if you watched what I put up last time, the Waifu of Saturn 6. So, recently I did a Wolf Sledge challenge against a level 75 Wolf of Saturn 6 using only my Wolf Sledge. And this was the customization I used. And I must say it turned out very, very well. So we are using Saren Grex and the Saren Noble animation set. Again, for attachments, we're using the Saturn 6 armor set and Sayandana. As you can see here. We are not using any regalias. Personally, I like to have prime details off because it looks kind of weird. With the prime details on. And the colors we are using. Again, we are using our bronzy gold color for that nice. for a nice blend to match the Saturn 6 armor. Again, I found that with Hildren, if you go too dark, it started looking a little weird. 
secondary color we are here in the smoke palette and we have a mid gray so it's not quite white it's not quite black it's a nice mid gray so we can still see the detailings on the thighs on the arms as well as the back you can see all this leathery texture here I would recommend staying with a grey for the secondary colour just so you can get the pattern in for all the fabric for the tertiary again we are using the shamrock cream colour third row down second column across it just fits it so well now you can go a bit lighter if you want However, I would avoid going too dark because you do get a yellowy colour. For the accents, we're not using bronzy gold. You're actually using a nice silver here in the smoke palette. As you can see, it's about halfway down. I found if I went too light of a silver... Personally, I don't prefer... I don't like the light silver. I like like of more of a darkened steel color. As you can see, that governs very much the hip metal plate there, and a few parts, basically around the skin. The more prominent part of the metallics are on the hip here. Also governs this part in the neck. And a few other bits. And personally, this is my favourite customization of the bunch. I do like Kildren. I do like Kildren with the Saturn 6 armor. But personally, Saturn 6 armor and Sand Honor, for me at least, very much suit Saren Grex. It could just be because I'm a Saren fanboy. But, you can't deny, that does not look good. And for extra effect, we do have the wolf sledge. So we just jump out of here for a sec. Look at that. Absolutely fabu. But, unfortunately, that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Tatana! Oh, and one more thing. Keep on howling. Bye-bye, guys.